six new concerns about an Atlanta based company that prints your dog's face on its socks. Customer complaints piling up about pup socks. Now Better Call Harry is learning the company is also under investigation by the state attorney general. We're not out to make you guys look bad. That's not why I'm here. This is not the conversation we'd hoped for with Pup Socks co-founder Zach Zellner. One minute, we're touring the Atlanta-based Pup Socks operation, and the next... Thank you. It's time to pack up and leave. I just don't understand why we're being escorted out like that. You guys invited us here. It was a misunderstanding, but still bizarre. We were here to show another business struggling with COVID-related shipping delays. But the CEO tells us that all Christmas orders have shipped. Simply put, um, oh, we don't have any backlog of outstanding orders. He also says the hundreds of online complaints showing customers with wrong orders or no orders or no refunds is overblown. The Better Business Bureau has more than 600 complaints and three alerts. Our percentage of even, of even complaints relative to the number of orders, I mean, is well below 1%. That may be true. The 2017 startup does boast more than 1 million pairs sold. There's this moment of realization where... But the company may have a bigger issue. That's when things get exciting. Zellner and co-founder Todd Stevenson founded Pup Socks on a Promise to help all animals in need. Any idea how much you've you've donated? Just a rough figure? I would, I would have to go, I mean, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So far, we've verified three donations. 5,000 to the Atlanta Humane Society, 12,000 to the Humane Society of the U.S., and 5,500 to a Himsa House, a group that keeps domestic violence victims and their pets together. The director there says because they're mentioned on Pup Sox website, angry calls from customers are getting in the way. Please just be patient with us. Ready for this? CBS 46 did a story about Pup Sox complaints in 2018. We had major complications with our manufacturers. What we didn't know is that in 2019, Georgia's attorney general fined the company $15,000 alleging unfair or deceptive acts or practices. Three years later, more complaints. I work hard for my money, as do a lot of other people. Their socks are not cheap by any means, and, and people expect what they pay for. Christy Bradley uploaded a pic of her pup in November, but the Christmas gift to her daughters never arrived. Mom, where are our pup socks? Pup Socks is operating under Zellner's new company, Thread Studio. Zellner's message to customers. Any customers who have been, you know, waiting in great lengths or, or who have had promises made to them that weren't fulfilled will receive refunds for their product. A few days later, Christy Bradley was offered a refund, sort of. We can give you a credit so you can reorder your item, which I have no faith that I'd even receive that item. Or we can issue you a refund less a $9 fee for every item that you ordered. $9? That's a third of the price. And what about all those charitable donations? We asked for a list, and you know what we got? What we do know is that the state attorney general's office is investigating again, but it can't comment due to a pending investigation. I'm Better Call Harry, CBS 46 News.